all right youtube what is good it's your boy rebel back with another video and today we finally have a working workflow for ltx2 dev guff models so i have spent the past two days after these dev and distilled models were released um for the guffs and i went through a nightmare of trying to figure out how to implement all of the files correctly because they were so new at the time that none of the uh, custom nodes were able to house them and um, a lot of the encoding just wouldn't work so i spent the better part of about 14 hours yesterday um reading through the forums on hugging face and kj had updated his nodes and someone by the name of vantage with ai um they created a set of experimental custom nodes to combat the issue that we were facing with the guff nodes that are in comfy so what this node does essentially is it houses the new architecture for ltx2 so that the guff unit loader doesn't give us errors it is fairly simple to install. Um, I will walk you through it right now just so you guys can get this done because I don't want you to get overwhelmed with this simple process. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your custom nodes folder. You're going to click your address bar up here and you're going to type in CMD and you're going to hit enter. Now, this is your command prompt. So for those of you who don't use a command prompt normally, this is really, really simple to do because all you're doing is copying and pasting some code and hitting enter and then you'll be done. So you're going to come to my workflow, which is linked in the description. So all you're going to do is you're going to come to this line right here. It says CD comfy UI slash custom nodes, get clone, and then the link to the node. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and you're going to bring it into the command prompt by right clicking. And then you're just gonna hit enter. I'm not gonna hit enter because I've already done this. After the custom nodes install, you're going to go to these two lines of code and you're going to copy both of them. And then you're going to right click again. It's going to say, do you want to copy multiple lines of code? You're just gonna hit paste anyways. So you have now been placed into the Vantage nodes folder that the um, Git clone has just created for you. And then you're going to run the requirements text right here. And you're just going to hit enter after it's uh, pasted in. And it will run the requirements. I've already done this, so I don't need to worry about it. And then you're going to just close out of that and you're done with the nodes. So when you open back up Comfy UI, you're going to have the nodes. So after you have gone through this gigantic list of files that you need and place them in the correct folders it's pretty self-explanatory you have your guff which goes in your unit you have your two text encoders which go in your text encoder folder you have two loras that get placed in your lora folder you have two vaes both get placed in the vae folder and then you have a latent up sampler which gets placed in your latent upscale models folder pretty simple the only other thing that I would recommend that you do just to help preserve your VRAM and RAM, uh, you can open up your bat file that you start if you are using the portable version, which this probably like unlikely will work on desktop as you guys are on a stable version of Comfy UI and it's actually like a couple days behind as far as updates go. So I highly recommend one that you swap to the portable version and two that you use these flags. So if you are unfamiliar with how to do this, it's also very simple. So you're going to navigate to your comfy windows portable root folder and you're going to go to whatever your original bat folder was. Um, it would have said something like this, but just without this here. And you're just going to right click it and you're going to edit it in your notepad. I have notepad plus plus because it's a little bit um, more uh, adaptable. So after you right click on the bat file and edit it in the notepad, this will pop up. And all you're going to do is just hit space to create space in between these lines. And then you're going to come back to the workflow page and copy these flags, anything with these uh, dashes are flags. So you're gonna copy those flags 
and then you're going to come back into the notepad file and you're just going to paste those flags in and then you're going to save the file and then you can just x out of this now when you go back into your root folder whichever one you edited i highly recommend renaming it to whatever you you know want it to be i actually have mine named ltx2 only for this specific purpose it's just more helpful so that you're not like opening up your base settings and like burning through your ram and getting errors this helps preserve it so so the only other thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to update your guff and your kj nodes you're going to need to just update them and make sure they're on nightly to ensure that the audio encoders work this node right here is kj's uh, vae loader so you need this to be updated or else the audio will not run properly in the workflow and you'll get a bunch of weird like hallucinative noise so after that you can just double click your bat file and open it up and then drag your workflow into comfy and you will get something that looks like this now the workflow is highly simplified as far as like the base workflow goes you have to go into this subgraph to do anything so if you haven't been using subgraphs or you're not a fan of sub of subgraphs today is the day that you are regretfully going to have to get used to them the first thing you're going to need to do after you've you know, completed downloading everything and installing your custom nodes, you're going to have to go into the subgraph and you're going to have to activate your files in all of these nodes. Um, I've separated the nodes that were originally in the workflow because they all were like strung into this connector right here. And it just made everything a little bit more difficult for like beginners to be able to adjust. So I opened these up and everything is actually situated correctly. All you have to do is just make sure your files look like these. Um, eventually, once the PR is native to the guff nodes, you will want to swap over and use this node. But the PR hasn't been updated to the nodes, so you don't need to worry about that yet. But this one will end up being more efficient, I have a feeling. So um you do need to if you don't want this you can bypass um the laura you don't need this detailer it just really enhances the fidelity of the generation so you have your distilled laura which pairs with your upscaler later on in the upsampling and that is about it as far as file placement goes i have everything closed out because you really don't need to look at any of this um, this is more for like dev options if you want to like adjust things and perfect things. You can open them up. They're all situated and ready. So to access the subgraph, you're going to click this square. Then to navigate back out of the subgraph, you are going to click this block right here. It will bring you back to the main workflow. You have your resolution settings right here, your width and your height. Uh, I recommend keeping these low. If you're going to do a landscape video, just swap the values. And if you want a square one, just I would probably stick to either 481 or something higher that's divisible by 32 plus one. Um, just ask like an LLM to do the math for you if you don't know how to do that math. So I do have an example for you. It is on the workflow already, but here it is. Welcome to LTX2. Welcome to LTX2. Welcome to LTX2. As you can well see, um, there are some issues when we get to the mouth and the eyes. Um, there does seem to be some blurring going on on the teeth and lips, and the eyes do have some weird blurring. This could be from the Laura, um, but when I didn't use the Laura, it kind of made the eyes gigantic and the mouth was a bit comically large when it moved. I just, I highly recommend you use that detailer, Laura, because it's gonna save you like subtle differences between generations, so. All right, guys, but that's all I'm gonna have for you today. Just wanted to get this workflow up and get you guys generating with this model because I know a lot of you are struggling with that low VRAM situation and, you know, not having a lot of RAM to allocate for your VRAM kind of sucks. And I go through this a lot, so it's really nice to be able to implement these sort of like 
low, low VRAM workflows for you guys to be able to test out and use. So if you enjoyed what you guys saw today, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving me a comment on the video to let me know how I did. You can also like the video. It genuinely helps the channel tremendously. So go ahead and download this workflow, get generating with LTX2 guys and power to the people. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.